Hello, welcome back to my channel. I am Jay Holloway. Today, we're going to be discussing a long overdue house collection of Aqua de Parma. So these are the scents that are currently in my collection. Well, that were in my collection. I went from three, now I'm officially down to two. But because this video has been delayed for so long, we're going to go ahead and just go over my little section of Aqua de Parma. So we're going to first start off with the one that is gone. And this is Camellia. This is a floral and it has notes of bergamot, mandarin, pink pepper, and cardamom at the top. A heart of Camellia Accord in Clary Sage and in the base, benzoin and musk. Now, there's a drop left, but when you When you get it, you really get the pink pepper, the bergamot, the mandarin, and the musk. This is one that I actually enjoyed. I got this from Sephora back when they were carrying it. And they were in the process of removing that from their portfolio. And usually with Sephora, when things go on heavy discount, that means they're about to discontinue it. So I picked this up from uh, the sale section. And yes, that is Camellia. And to be honest, another reason I got it was because of Chanel and the Camellia. But this is a nice freshie. And happy to have it. Now it's gone. The reason the wrapper looks like that or the label is because I can twist off the top. And I'm thinking about reusing the bottle. We shall see. The next one that we have that is also from that line of florals is called Osmanthus. And this has top notes of green mandarin and neroli, a heart of peony, pink pepper, and brett, and a base of Osmanthus and patchouli. And this is considered a fruity floral. Now with Osmanthus, this is almost like a, a sweet apricot peachy type scent that's slightly floral. But I really enjoy wearing this. This is perfect for this super hot weather we're experiencing nationwide. It's gonna have you being fresh and clean and beautiful. And if you love florals, definitely one to get. Happy that I have that. And the last Aqua de Parma that I have in my collection, I got this suggestion from, I think his name is Robin James. He's over in the UK. And I heard him speak about it. And when I saw this being available, I think I got this from FragranceNet. I was like, okay, let me try it. Because essentially this is a vanilla and this one is Vaniglia and this has a top of Heliotrope, Bergamot, Neroli, Mandarin Orange, a heart of Vanilla, Jasmine Simbach, and a base of Cedar and Musk. So when you get this, it is more than just a, a vanilla. It's almost like a spicy, powdery vanilla. And it has like some green nuances to it. Now granted that is on paper, on skin it is lovely. Now as much as I like it, this is not one that I wear a lot. And I also wanted to get the Oud that comes in this dark bottle. And there was a blue one called, uh, I think it's Mandarin Diamanfi. It's one of the blue bottles. And of course I wanted to get their colognes, but I only managed to get these three thus far. And to be honest, I'm kind of satisfied with where my Aqua de Parma collection is right now. 
and it is currently just with Vaniglia and Osmanthus. But that is my collection of Aqua de Parma fragrances. If you have any Aqua de Parma, sound off down below in the comments. Please like, comment, subscribe, share if you care, and stay tuned for more scented content. Bye!